And I think it's important for us to dig into vaccine hesitancy more and the reasons for it, because, of course, that is the, the biggest concern of the Biden administration is how you get this last portion of Americans vaccinated. Your state is obviously a great test case. I think you mentioned the statistics earlier that it's the one of the states with the lowest vaccination rates in the country. There's about a million people in Mississippi who have gotten vaccinated, which is about 37 percent of the population. And it's only slightly better in Hines County with, I think you said, 41 percent who have gotten at least one dose. So when you're talking to residents and you obviously understand your city better than anyone else, why do you think some of those reasons for hesitancy exist? Well, there's there's general fear, uh, you know, for for a number of reasons. There's there's general fear uh, if you have never or or don't traditionally go to a physician, uh, then you have a fear about uh, surrounding going to a physician. Uh, when we think about uh, the historic mistrust that is placed within Black communities uh, around medical care. Uh, as I said at the, the top of our discussion, some of which is warranted, and we have to acknowledge that, that contributes to it. Uh, the politicization of the issue within some communities is, uh, is to blame. Uh, but I believe that we have to, as I said, we have to truly understand the nature of someone uh, who hasn't gone to a doctor when they had a cold, uh, who hasn't gone to a doctor when they had the flu, uh, who hasn't gone to the doctor when they had any number of ailments or aches and pains, uh, then we're asking that they deviate from all that they know. Uh, and so what this pandemic, once again, has allowed us to realize uh, is that our, you know, it hasn't come to discriminate against anyone. Uh, it hasn't come to, to you know, demonstrate disparity over one community versus another. It is merely exposed where we are already missing the mark. And so this is the consequence of, of our, our historic failures. Uh, and so as we rise out of this, as we meet people where they are, as we do things like we've tried to do in the city of Jackson, such as have a vaccination day, uh, where we bring people to our convention center, uh, where we have you know, created a, a 1-800 number for people to call, uh, where we've created uh, not only a, a hotline, but a warm line for people who are dealing with uh, the social and emotional effects of, of a pandemic, uh, where we have tried to author any number of solutions. Uh, we have to continue to dig in deeper and meet people where they are. We have to literally pull up in people's communities uh, and, and make certain that they are presented with people that they know. Uh, it is difficult to have a doctor show up in a community uh, that, that has never shown up before, uh, that they don't know, they don't recognize, and telling them that, that they want them to accept a dose of a vaccine or put anything in their body that they have never done before. And so I think that that instead of merely being critical and judgmental in that regard, we have to approach the circumstance with a certain level of compassion and understanding uh, so that we can have the necessary conversations and move at the pace of trust within our community.